Good evening, campers, dreamers, and babysitters. Walden Dean is a stenographer whose mind witnessed all types of injustice in the courtroom. After discovering he has a terminal illness, repressed anger deep within him surfaces, taking justice into his own hands in the most gruesome ways imaginable. Yes, folks, this is our Raw Reaction Review for Walden. Yes, folks, we are back with another Raw Reaction Review for you. This time for a movie that, uh, again, we didn't know anything about this flick. This was offered to us. We had no idea even that this film existed until we read the synopsis. And the only reason uh, I want to say that I even suggested that Luke and I cover this was because... That man right in the background there, Emil Hirsch, who we don't see that often anymore, but I feel like is a pretty underrated actor. So that uh, definitely caught my attention. And, you know, Luke was also uh, intrigued by that. And we gave this flick a shot. Uh, Luke, how'd you feel when I sent you the the press notes and synopsis and the offer for Walden here? Um, you know, I read the little synopsis and knew Emil Hirsch was attached to this. And I honestly, that was enough for me. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a big Emil Hirsch fan. Like you said, we haven't seen him in a while. Um, I just don't know if he's uh, fallen under the radar a little bit with his performances, because everything that I had previously seen him in, he's always uh, a stellar actor. Um, so seeing him pop up in a new property like this, you know, and plus it falling into the horror realm like that. Um, I was super intrigued for this one, especially with uh, seeing the poster afterward. It gave me kind of maybe a little bit of American Psycho vibe, uh, you know, with how well-mannered and groomed he looks. I thought it was like, eh, it could be pretty interesting to see what kind of tones we're going to get here. Yeah, and like looking at his filmography, it seems like he's been working rather consistently, but it just seems like a lot of uh, direct-to-DVD and a lot of more, uh, you know, indie projects. So, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily know what's going on there i do believe um and don't quote me on this but there might have been a little bit of controversy i don't know if it was debunked or not but i remember his name coming up in the headlines uh, at least for a short period of time with uh, something going on there uh but seems like whatever's happened must have passed or not been true or whatever because he's still working um and i think the last big noteworthy thing that i remember seeing him pop up in was uh the autopsy of jane doe was another was kind of a a big one for people but outside of that i can't really think of anything major here and even just looking this over okay my apologies uh, once upon a time in hollywood i forgot he does have a, a bit part in that but everybody's in that movie so yeah um but nonetheless walden is here we got to check it out and this is from uh the company uncorked um and you know we've checked out a few of their things and um you know it's it's kind of a mixed bag it really just turns into sometimes they're okay sometimes they're just really not the best they, they seem to be uh supporting of indie filmmakers they're not very big budgeted which we all support we like that he, on the channel here we're big supporters of indie film but i don't know i just feel like the stories uh don't really uh have much to them or they don't really feel complete but i gotta say Walden kind of broke that trend for me. This actually was a pretty compelling film. Yes, and I second that 100%. Um, looking at that synopsis was what really sold me on this, the idea of a stenographer, which we don't really ever get that idea, you know, mm -hmm. presented to us and expanded upon. It's just kind of usually something that falls by the wayside. You know, if you're in a courtroom scene, you have a stenographer, but that's never the real focus of anything. And kind of like looking at this and you know, where it's presented, he's a stenographer, a terminal illness, and um, kind of starts, you know, um, maybe d dabbling into um, some violence in a sense, I think really uh, intrigued me a lot, just to see how this was going to, pre to be presented. And then just the subject matter in general, to see Emil Hirsch's performance. This was more of a grounded take on a lot of things. This was something that, again, falls into a feeling of American Psycho or the Glovich killer. It gave me those kinds of vibes of, you know, I, I love these well-mannered kind of 
serious serial killers i guess maybe you can uh, deem him i don't know if you want to go that route but um just that kind of idea i think is is very intriguing to me especially when you present it into more of a kind of a small town um so i think the idea of this groundedness uh in that horror realm really really intrigued me the most and really sold me yeah i agree i i was uh very impressed after probably about the first 20 minutes of this movie where i was just sitting there saying I'm really intrigued by this story. Like I found myself getting really sucked into it. Um, the film doesn't look that bad either for it being a, a clearly a smaller production, but you can tell there's definitely some talent behind the camera here. As far as just uh, the cinematography and directing goes, it feels like it's got a really nice handle on it. And again, um, I think you hit the nail on the head there with Emil Hirsch. I mean, the character of Walden, um, he's just so likable. He is truly just one of those uh, characters that, yes, they're misguided and yes, they're not doing uh, very great things. But I mean, at the same time, you are won over as the film continues and everything and you're understood. It's kind of like, well, I, I get it, I guess, you know, it's like he's just so eccentric and, and played so beautifully by Emil Hirsch here that uh, I, I found myself really enjoying this character. And there's moments in here uh, where the character is put through some events. And, you know, I genuinely had uh, a little bit of a palpable feeling of like, oh, man, uh, I really don't want anything bad to happen to Walden. And, you know, I love these elements here of how unimposing the Walden character is and then being put in these certain situations where, um, you know, you don't know what the outcome's going to be because, yes, he's not really a threat, but he's entering in these threatening situations and you're hoping for the best in these outcomes because you really don't know. It can be almost anything. And I really do love that kind of tension uh, that they bring in that idea because he's not this strong, imposing character. But, you know, like you said, he's very likable. And I think that really does help the character because in these those elements of where he's just living everyday life, he's kind of quirky, he's kind of weird, um, and very square in a sense in terms of his delivery and what he can do um, in terms of his conversation. Um, so, you know, for me, I think it really sold me on that aspect of it. So when we kind of get into these darker elements and fall down this rabbit hole it really feels so different and you can really see this it's really a character study in a sense where we do see him start in one area and then end up in another and that's really what i love about this film i agree i think that uh really getting into the, just the uh kind of the the psychology of the character and the way that they uh present it as well too is it's nothing is too straightforward nothing is too over the top they they really tote that line very nicely of just giving you i think just enough because uh, you know with a story like this and a character like this i feel like we've seen it a lot of times where they have this kind of thriller killer element to it and they lean into just what is making them do this and they beat you over the head with it it's very subtle here and i i think that that's something that you see um, in much more competent director's hands uh, normally. So the fact that we have somebody who I'm unfamiliar with, they don't have a lot of credits to their name, this uh, Mick Davis guy, um, I, I really think that that's a, a mark that needs to be hit for him because I, I thought he did a great job by uh, knowing exactly when to pull back and knowing exactly when to uh, push forward as far as uh, the psyche of Walden and watching him go on this journey. Um now, it's not all perfect. I, I definitely think that there are um, some slower parts to this. I think that there are some moments where I think we linger a little too long. And I, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of the the thriller, uh, you know, I guess like the way you call it American Psycho-esque material. And uh, yeah, there's definitely uh, some violence in this. Some of it being real intriguing. Some of it being, I think, a little more to be desired. Um, and I, you and I talked about that off air a little bit, so, you know, I'll let you kind of take it away there. Cause I think you had the best take on it. Yeah. Um, with that, cause you know, we do dive down that, uh, violence rabbit hole in a sense. And I think that it does open up some interesting elements. Um, but I think, you know, in looking at this from a horror per perspective, 
I think, you know, you could have taken it one step farther. It's one of those things where I think they pulled back a little too much sometimes where um, and we're not asking for extreme gore or anything, but no, I think not in a film like this. Yeah. But looking at it and being like, you know, that could have been that one extra scene, that one close up or actually showing some sort of violence rather than leaving it more so to the imagination. I feel like they didn't want to go full on uh, horror with that. I think, you know, there could have been a little extra. Um, and like you're saying, I think this presented some pretty intriguing ideas in terms of the situations we put other characters in with Walden. Um, and then, you know, there are a couple that are like, mm, I think maybe we could have maybe picked up something more interesting here to put the Walden character in. Uh, because I think like th there are probably like, I think there are two, the first two situations for me were really intriguing, but then there's one in the back half that I felt was like, mm, well, it was kind of, you know, by the book. It's something that we do see a lot of the time in a lot of these kind of uh, with this subject matter, I think. So, you know, for me, I think we could have taken that one step farther. And especially us being a horror podcast, we would have been rather pleased with that. Um, so I think that doesn't necessarily hurt the film. It just leaves something for us to be desired. Yeah, I, I especially agree with the the scene you're talking about, I think, in the back half. It it felt again, and I, I did uh, rein this criticism on those scenes as well when it comes down to the gritty violence, um, where things just felt so rushed at those points. I really think that, you know, maybe it was a conscious decision to not make the character of Walden so dark and so sadistic. But I think that Emil Hirsch is so competent in this, and I think the character he plays is so likable that it would have almost, I think, benefited the film to see him linger in those sequences a bit more, to see him revel in the violence a bit more, because it would have just given Emil Hirsch that much more uh, props for being able to re-win us over as an audience again. Especially where it's like, you know, we see kind of this... Uh, this love story ask angle uh, that's in here a little bit where it's like, you know, he gets involved with a character and, you know, I think it's very cute. I think it's, it's actually done really well. It's paced nicely uh, for kind of their meeting and how they get together and things. So it, it would have been a nice juxtaposition. And I think that uh, some films that kind of tackle similar material, uh, they do do that and they do go there some more successful than others, but I really think Walden could have been, uh, an exception there and been more successful but again i think they chose to hold back a little bit in those scenes and uh you know it's it's a fine choice i understand it but like luke said we're a horror podcast so i guess there's just that side of me that's like i want to see more of this especially uh with this performance i mean that's the highlight for me is emil hirsch's performance here he's he's on fire from scene one uh to the final frame yeah, absolutely. And like looking at this, especially where you have Mick Davis being writer and director here, you kind of have that benefit, especially with him working closely with your lead actor like Emil Hirsch of being able to kind of say, this is what I'm interested in. And then having Emil Hirsch kind of bring us back in. So I think, you know, even if we had went that darker route, um, we would have had more of a frustration because as soon as we're in that dark dark area we were pulled right back out with that emile hirsch performance which i think would have been a great kind of a roller coaster in a sense um you know just because we didn't get it it didn't hurt the film greatly for me um i still think this is a very enjoyable watch i think j strictly just for the emile hirsch um uh, performance. I think you do need to check this one out, but I think there's a lot of great stuff in here, especially directing wise, um, you know, just other minor performances, I think were really well done. And some of the violence in here is pretty, is, is pretty satisfying to a certain extent. So for me, I am going to say this is a recommend. Um, I think, you know, go out of your way. Um, if this is playing in a theater near you to, uh, sit in the theater and check this one out because it does fly right by. Um, and then if you're going to check this out on VOD, you can't miss. Absolutely. I also give this a recommend. Um, you know, again, I was pretty surprised uh, with just how much I actually got into Walden. And uh, yeah, I, I agree. I think that this is going to be something that uh, will surprise you uh, when you sit down and watch it. I think that you'll enjoy it quite a bit. Try to go in knowing uh, nothing more than what we've said here, I think is your best bet. Because I feel like if the expectations get too high, it might not meet them. But I think that, uh, you know, for what we got for this, again, being one of those under the radar films that just is kind of coming up out of nowhere. 
I enjoyed it. I had fun, and I definitely think that I would probably give this another watch at some point down the road. Um, and yeah, as far as just where you can find this film, uh, this thing's going to be hitting select theaters this weekend on November 10th, and then uh, will be on demand and digital December 12th. So you don't have too long to wait, but I would definitely try to seek this one out, uh, whether it's on VOD or if you do want to go to the theaters and see it. I think you'll enjoy your time. It's a breeze. It's only about an hour and 40 minutes. So, you know, it's it's a short commitment and you're in, you're out. And again, it's a simple story, but I think the things that they add to it uh, really just take it to that uh, enjoyment level that we're looking for in a movie like this. So, yeah, I guess uh, that's a very positive review for us for Walden. So, all righty, guys, that's going to wrap us up here for this. Let us know if you're checking this movie out. Let us know if uh, this was not on your radar, but maybe it is now. And, uh, yeah, if you have seen the film, let us know what you thought. So, other than that, we got a lot of great stuff on the channel. And uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. I want to get this one out there. I want more people to see uh, Walden. So, hopefully, you know, we can get that boosted up in the algorithm. And uh, if you think we deserved it, hit that subscribe button. But uh, alrighty, so until next time, I'm Dylan Newell. And I'm Luke Janesco. And remember, stay scared. <laughs>